racing. As we have we're having some little audio issues here, but don't don't fret. We are ab absolutely working on that. And they fire off of that starting gate. They just come out launched. And all the kids, it's so quiet, you can just look over and see the other guy and hear him like, oh, You can say, hey, I'm on your right. Watch out. Look out. Oh. oh. Of those this week, I don't think. So a bummer that that happened there. Good thing is these bikes not that fast and very low to the ground. So hopefully everybody's okay. They got rubber pegs. Everything's nice and soft and squishy. They're three inches off the ground, going about 14 miles an hour. That's right. They pop right back up, but Grayson Porco out of Ohio smashing that whole shot, grabbing that plastic grip, just twisting it as far as she'll go. Got the throttle bolt out on these things and the exhaust governor off. Oh, and that's no, pretty no, much no. all you can do. You don't want to mess with that. You got to leave all that stuff alone. It's got to be bone stock, man. No, the exhaust governor, that's a washer you can take out. That, that's easy. That, that's, I don't know. If, I don't know. If, I don't want to get into that. No, I'm, that's not a hop up tip. That's the way the bike is designed. Is that a number one? Is that a number one? We have a defending champion. Or is that Grayson Porco on the number four? The, the numbers are so small. Oh, yeah, that is a four. And then the 47 coming through there. Jeff Emmett back in the yeah. On the Yamal, there's a rock. 94 of Roxanne. No, it is not. It 94. might be 41. Yep. Zayden McCabe. Zayden McCabe coming through there in the number two spot. And, yeah, hard to tell what's a one and what's a seven and what's a four with wow. these tiny Look at the mailbox fonts. Yeah, big battle back here going into the storyland in the back of the track, deep into these ruts. You can lose them. Their little heads about all you can see when they come popping out of those ruts. Went with the Krager Mag wheels on his. That's a solid choice. Many uh, different options you can get from Yamaha on the PW50 in terms of different options you want to go with. The chrome package, if you will. Premium package, yeah, the, bench seat, the, column the, shift. AM, FM cassette. <laughs> Uh, good little riding style from these kids. You can see they're pretty big on these bikes. You can ride a P-Dub even uh, at age three. Uh, it's a four to six class, but in AMA racing, your age on January 1 is your youth age. So you could turn seven at the end of January, for example, and race all year. Those braking bumps just became a straight up whoop section. Whoop section. And he was skimming over the top, <laughs> our leader, Grayson Porco. No, it's more like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> the most chill bikes. Like, if you're just getting into the sport, you go from the most chill, awesome bike to ride in the backyard to the next step up. Oh the my most gosh! Violent, yes. ear, ear, ear piercing. piercing. I'd rather hear a chainsaw run. Yes. The, some of those the next bikes, the KTM and Cobra 50s, Woo. they are as loud, and yeah. they're fairly intimidating. So that's why it's cool to have this class and the e-bike class as well. Yep. But we'll have that later today. We're going to split our 50 ranks. We'll have these two classes the one we just had, and then this shaft drive class, and then the end of the day, we'll have two more, the, including the first ever mini E-Moto. Here's your battle for second place. I love it. The 41 looks over, checking out the competition. The 41's gonna be Zayden, Zayden McCabe, and the crowd goes crazy. Yeah. One of the funner classes. They, these kids, oh. if you're too loud, they'll actually look at you, so don't yell don't too distract. loud. Don't distract. The 94 is right there with him. That is Landon Horn out of Kimberly, Alabama. That's the rider in third, trying to take oh. second away. Oh, cross rutted and Horn takes the spot. That's uh, Tyler Horn's kid there from back in the day. You about right? Yeah, we got a lot of second generation out here, maybe more than ever at Loretta's these days. It says a lot of cool things about the sport, if you want to be honest, that uh, so many people like it so much, they're coming back for more. So we're getting a good look at our full field here. We mentioned Anderson. Actually, no, that was third. Anderson Waldell snuck past us. He is in second. He's on an, on the move. The battle we were watching, Zayden McCabe and Landon Horn, that's for third and fourth. Jacob Mariner, fifth. He likes to ride in the mud. Likes it when it's rainy. Loves it. Loves those rainy races. Bryson Devil Bliss is sixth. Brecken Oots is seventh. Cody Venover, Cruz Anderson, and Carter Shute. That's your top ten. Then it's Braxton Woodring. Grayson Kyler, 12th. Oh, the names are great. Corey Holmes, 13th. Levi Letty, 14th. And Roxon Santa Cruz is Jeez, the 15th. names. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a rider. Wait, that's our leader, the number four. Porco is, did he get past? That's the real question. Yeah, I believe so. There is your, oh, and he oh, goes, no, down, he goes again. down again. Thankfully, it's only four inches. He has to lift the bike back up. Yeah, but it's hard for these little guys. He does get it up. This class, they are allowed to have industry assistance to get back on the motorcycle. Uh, does he need to start it? Yes, he does. Uh, All right, that's a lesson. I'm going to tell my kid. You got to yeah, to start. Don't go I tell crazy. my kid, it's time you start kickstarting this thing yourself. Uh, Porco uh, was I'm your poor, leader, Dad. so Waldell in the lead. Well, my kid raced a GNCC in a P-Dub about a month ago, and I said, if you fall down in the woods, 
just yell and someone Somebody will start will it for you. Like, it's allowed, it's okay. Uh, don't just end your race. I quit. I yeah. give up right here. Huh? You'd be surprised if you tip him over, it is possible. It's like a 50-50. Uh, yeah, one time he actually did have some rando uh, start his bike. Yeah, but so it's, uh, it's partially because uh, Dad has the bike running so poorly. It's probably part of the factor. These oh. are stock, but I'm sure they're as... Oh! oh! Running as well as a P-Dub kid, cross-running into that back section. Another rider goes down. I think it's a little early for power bands to be going out, too, so I think that was just a rider error on that part. I'm watching the 64 of Beckett Oots on that white P-Dub. He's the rider to watch. He is gaining ground in a hurry. Not a good start. He was only seventh early, but he's going for a podium now. So we'll watch for Beckett Oots on the 64 in just a moment. And we see some other riders in this uh, PW Shaft Drive Limited class. Now we pick back up Porco, who made a mistake and then crashed. And we'll see where he is in the order in, in this big sand turn. There is Oots on that white P-Dub. You make the joke that they never change these motorcycles. Uh, there are subtle changes here and there. If you look at, like, the original, these come out. It's 40 years, by the way, now the uh, P-Dub or the Weisinger, as they first called it, and the seat and tank was a little bit different. They hadn't even, even the modern motocross bikes back then didn't really have the seat that moved up to the gas no, tank. you just stopped. You right. just smashed into things. You did horrible. not want to do yeah, that. No one ever thought of putting padding in the most important part <laughs> of a padding. So they did change, like, the seat and tank, like, I don't know, maybe around, like, 1985. And then we were joking in the practice on Monday. Your leader. They actually changed the forks on these bikes about five years ago, added some more oil, or maybe I should say added... Some oil. Some oil uh, to the forks. Your leader now, the number 94 of Landon Horn, I believe, has taken over the point wow, on the 94 from machine. Third. From third. Well, there he is. He is your leader, the big 94 yep. on the back of his bib. And they actually use those when they're eating their Cheerios, sitting in their little baby chairs. They yeah, wear yeah, they, yeah, they, they, the These are very usable bibs for these kids. No way. Really? All right, so we have our apprentices. Yeah, Adam Gordon from Racer TV is up in the tower with us. We're like, hey, who's so driving? So we're the who's... kids are running the show right now and doing a pretty good job. So we have the kid helping announce the kids' race. We did that up here. Yep. 65 and that first PW. We got a kid sorry, running the race with class. Carrie. Yeah, pretty much. We've we're handed just... it over. 13-year-olds running the national championship not with the supervision of a uh, Maybe. Of us. I'm not sure. I see Adam Gordon up here with us. They might <laughs> be completely by there. themselves. So good job. We got our apprentices cutting cameras and helping produce this show. Very cool. We had uh, William Tucker, an 11-year-old, helping us announce. And uh, just showing again that uh, the kids are more mature than adults like Kevin and I. No doubt. No doubt about 64. it. 64. Uh, I've been is... mentioning him, Beckett Oots. He's fast, man. Didn't have the start, but he's been making passes. Looking for a podium. Here's your order. Anderson Waldell is your leader landed horn second we have somehow not seen waldell he's been sneaking past us every, every time, time. Yeah. so waldell second early our leader on the number four grayson porco went down anderson waldell takes the lead landed horn second and zayden mccabe on the number 41 beckett oots and jacob mariner rounding out the top five and i'm doing everything i can to focus through the electricity that is going through my ears through this headset we're good. All right, so in this Ten Commandments, look at this battle. I'm counting, and this is good education for the riders at home. I think I counted eight riders battling for position. So let's see if you are four to six watching from home. Can you count to eight? You'd need to to call this action into the back section of the track. This is Storyland. It would be a 15-minute moto, and we are halfway through watching that 64 of Oots. Beckett Oots out of Storyland now, keeping that thing pinned. And a cool story, these bikes, uh, late 1970s, you do hear the glory days of the sport, they say, you know, they're early 1970s and they were selling something like a million dirt bikes a year and the sport kind of had a downturn. So Yamaha by the late 70s said, we got to figure out a way to develop some new talent, some new riders. So uh, in the late 70s, they put this bike on the drawing board. I think it was two years later that it actually came out I think it was 1981. I believe you're right. And uh, Yamaha, uh, the 40th anniversary, said they've sold 150,000 of these bikes uh, over the time. I uh, bet 148,000 are still, still in, out there, still, still in existence. Yeah. Fresh and titles. something crazy, the amount of countries that these bikes has been sold in, something like 98 countries or something like that. 
Uh, the they, they're sold years. out this year already, right? Yeah, at one point Yamaha, I think, was going to have a really big marketing campaign, and they realized uh, we don't have any to sell. We've heard so many stories during this COVID time of dirt bike sales going through the roof and also off of the charts and off the chain and in the oh, hizzy the and hook. all those things. We let yep. the dogs out. Yep. Woo. Oh, there it is. Our so, leader now, the number 94, he is, well, it's Landon Horn is who I'm seeing out front, unless he's so far behind Anderson Waddell. There's Anderson 20. Waddell, we got there him, go. 76 Waddell. We got Thank him on you. the screen here. The kids on in the, the, running the, the show down there, the apprentices setting us straight. There we go. Yeah, this is good experience for them and good experience for him. Anderson Waddell on that number 76 coming out of Lizelle, Georgia. Lizella. You know that. I do. I mean, you're a Georgia guy. It's near Donnie Banks, Donald Eugene Banks. Oh, Donald Banks. Backed by Fly Racing, WPS, A1 Racing Suspension. Capital Cycle, maybe. Pirelli, Bell Ray, and Roost MX. <laughs> Anderson Waldell out front, kid out of Georgia. Landon Horn, second. And Oots, it's steadily working, working his way forward. His third. McCabe is fourth. That's Zayden McCabe. Grayson Porco had your Stasic Whole Shot Award. Fell is running in fifth at top five update brought to you by the fine folks at Suzuki. Jacob Mariner, sixth. Cruz Anderson, seventh. Carter Shoot, eighth. Braxton Woodring and Bryson Devil Bliss. That is your top 10. Speaking of 10, 10 commandments. And that's a good education for these kids. Can you count the commandments? Just start with the counting. Then we'll learn what each commandment is all about. Yeah, we just want to see your four to six year old division at counting to 10. Doesn't come Tough. easy. No. Waddell is uh, going to be moving to the Super Mini next. He is just really almost outgrown this PW. That's how big he is, just really. goes straight wow. to the Super Mini. Spend right a year there. of that, then he'll be in 12 15 before you know it. And then, and then Monster Energy Supercross, look out. Yep, he'll be years nine years away. old. Yep. Yeah, he looks gigantic on that motorcycle. But he's handling business, and it doesn't seem to slow down when he's just pinning it. No, I'm No power issues there. Just, wow, nice little table for him. Starting to scrub on that P-Dub. Yeah, that's impressive. And as we always say, they can put stuff on the pit board, but the kids in this class aren't old enough to read it. It might be in the form of Bob books, which is how a lot of kids learn to read. Pop-up books. Yeah, I asked me about, yeah, it might have like a castle pops up. Mm -hmm. uh, very simple words you got to put in the pit board, you know, the ball. Go fast. Go fast, yeah. Johnny runs three word, fast. Three word, no, three letter words on the pit board. Waldell up over the bars, bouncing around through those sand rollers, trying to bring it home with a moto win. And I'm going to have to head down to the podium already. Might only be one lap left in this one in a yeah, more than likely. moto. Yeah. 12 minutes into this, they've gotten three, working on their fourth lap. Waldell on the 76 machine. Got his bib on. He'll keep that on, like we said, for dinner so he doesn't get ribs all over himself. Mess up that nice new shirt. Garanimal shirt. Mama gets so upset. She goes to Baby Gap, get ribs all over it, so they'll just wear this bib every time they eat. Coming around the big sweeper, he might get another lap in here. We'll see. Wygett may have to sprint down there to beat this kid to the finish line. And we are looking for our, the number 76 of Anderson Waddell. He is coming right at us here in the announcer's tower. Crowd is going crazy. We'll see if Anderson's going to go another lap around this Loretta Lens racetrack. Yeah, you can hear the crowd there. Pump for Anderson. I believe he's got one more to go. Looking down the line for our second place rider, Landon Horn. 35 seconds out front is Waldell. But Landon Horn has company. That's the battle you want to watch. The number 94 and the 64. They are right in front of us here in the announcer's tower. That's the battle for the number two spot, Horn and Utz. Love those Utz chips as well. Part of the Utz. Oh, your third place rider goes off the racetrack. That was the number 64 of Beckett Utz. What a bummer. I believe he can get back up and still maybe manage a third. Nope, there goes Porco. He's going to go right past him. What a bummer. He's going to jump back in in the number four spot. So Porco picks up a spot. Utz slips back to fourth. And he jumps right into a freight train of four kids. So he's going to have to get his mind right. And dig deep here on this last lap. The number 64 of Beckett Utz. Slips back to fourth. Does he have enough time? He's got one lap, which should be about three and a half minutes for him to run down Grayson Porco. There's our leader on the number 76 machine here in this 51 four to six shaft class going into the Ten Commandments. He will be ready for that bigger Cobra 50. I'm sure he has one at home. He probably races on the regular. He's got time to look around, blow some kisses, 
except a few friend requests on Instagram. There he is, the number 76 of Waldell on the Yamaha. Yamaha is undefeated in this class. Landon Horn now, here's the way the lineup looks, the uh, top 10, brought to you by Motorcycle Mechanics Institute. Zayden McCabe, your 10th place rider. Bryson DeBillis is your 9th place rider. Levi Letty, 8th. Jacob Mariner, 7th. Braxton Woodring, 6th. Carter Shute, 5th. Beckett Utz, 4th. Grayson Porco, 3rd. Landon Horn and Anderson Waddell. Leading this thing, I believe, on the last lap, they're going to have their moment to chat with Jason Wygant. These interviews, if you're an apprentice, they're tough, but they're really some of the funnest ones to do. If you can get some of these young men and women to talk to you, they're not too uncomfortable. Wes Kane is very intimidating. Six foot eight, little six year old looking at Wes Kane with all the tattoos, looks like he's fresh out of the pen. Yeah, that's the guy your parents have told you don't ever talk to that kind of guy. And now you have to go and talk to that kind of guy. But I won, yeah, well. Come up here, kid. A few more turns remain for our leader. Good form there for the number 76 of Anderson Waddell. Up and over that step up. He is not doing what uh, the 250Bs were doing, and that's just launching and landing over the braking bump. So he's just backing it down now on the 50. Taking it easy on this racetrack. Around that big roller one more time, the big sweeping right-handed turn. The number 76 has got a first place finish in his sights. 2020 vision for these young men. Just wait till you're in the plus 45 class. You got readers coming to you. Number 76, he's gonna look over. I believe the checker flag should come out this time around and Anderson Waddell is going to be your winner. So a great ride for Anderson. And let's check in with Landon Horn, Grayson Porco and Beckett Utz. All right, we are ready for our podium. Man, you know, we've been graced with some great weather so far this week. These kids aren't even that whooped. And this man was uh, quiet, sneaks up the third, then second, then takes the lead and didn't make any big mistakes. Let's hear it for Anderson Waldell. Woo! Is this your first time at Loretta's or you've been here before? First time. Hey, let me get your microphone here. Hang on. Okay, let's turn that on. All right, there we go. We got his mic. So your first time here. And you won. Man, did you expect to win coming in or are you shocked right now? You expect to win. I don't know why this mic's not working. No, he's doing it all right. You expect to win. Let me see here. All right, we're good. Yeah, we just got to talk loud. These are little guys. Uh, how did the moto go? Can you tell me about it? Good. I came off the star, but I didn't get the whole shot. Yep. Hung on from there. All right, who do you want to thank, Anderson? My mom, my dad, GPFY, Pirelli, 
That's all. All right, Anderson Waldell, he's your Moto winner. Let's hear it for him. Congratulations, Anderson. All right, we'll let him take some photos. Looking fresh in his uh, fly racing gear on that Yamaha. We're looking for a second place finisher first, and then we'll take our third place, who I believe also had the uh, whole shot in this one. Second place, come on up. Good job, up on the podium. That was a good battle, had a lot of kids in the hunt in that one. This guy was consistent the whole way, and he ends up with the silver. Let's hear it for Landon Horn. Yeah, Landon. All right, tell me about your race, Landon. Yeah, it was good. Um, end up whatever place. I don't care. I'm just glad I won. And it's almost hot out here. It is, it is. Probably going to get hotter for the other motos. That's bad news. But the good news is I know you got people you want to thank, so let's hear it. God, mom and dad, my nina, my mimi, my brothers, uh, everybody back at home too, and everybody that helped, and Moto X, and Profo, Ayot, uh, Motocross Fest, just typically anything. All right, awesome. Let's hear it for him. Landon Horn, good job. All right, second place. All right. And uh, third place, awesome run as well. He's in title contention and he's got a whole shot award from Stasic. We'll bring him up next. Good job, Landon. And now we'll bring up our third place finisher. He led for a little bit, he crashed, he recovered. Come on up, take the bronze and the Stasic whole shot award. Let's hear it for the number four of Grayson Porco. Yeah. All right, you can head on over to the microphone there in the middle there, Grayson. Uh, did you have a crash in that moto? Yeah. Were you worried? Did you get back up and everything okay? I got back up and uh, everything. How's it feel to get on the podium? Good. All right, who do you want to thank? Mom, Dad, Bell, et and F, et al. With... That'll do. All right. Stasic Whole Shot Award. Let's hear it for Grayson Porco. All right. And uh, that's it for our 50 classes for now. We will be back at the end of the day.